Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jacobboy69, and today we'll be playing a horror game called Peter's House. I don't know what's so significant about Peter's House, but we'll find out together. Join me today as we move boxes for our dear friend Peter. Let's hop right into it. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. Alrighty. Steve, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Before I continue, my boy Steve looks so happy to be holding that box. He really is having a great time, and I don't trust Peter at all. Off the jump, Peter is giving me un- canny vibes yeah i have a few boxes that i need to move on my new house on my new house i'll be out tonight so the door will be unlocked okay i can come over tonight and take care of it can you give me your address sure my address is, is 619 main street great i'll take care of everything is there anything else you need from us no that's all thank you so much steve you're welcome peter have a girl good night not great you too thanks again <clears throat> okay. Here we go. All right. Mm -mm. So far, we're in a box with boxes in it. La -dee da. Not the right place for the box. What is that, dude? It's just a TV. It's a really loud TV. The bedroom. Is this the bedroom? Nice crucifix on the wall, so we know we're safe. One goes in the dining room. If you've ever seen a horror movie, you know a crucifix on a wall means that it's probably going to end up upside down at some point. You just know that off off the get-go. This one says to go to the kitchen. Mm, it's not a kitchen, unless your kitchen has a toilet in it. Mr. Peter in your house. All right. A kitchen with just a fridge. I should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Okay. All right, Steve. Hard working man. We love to see it. This one says it must go to the bathroom. We remember where that one is. Let's throw it back here. Keep, gotta keep moving the boxes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Of course. My arm is in a weird position. And it's like, I'm sorry. What does it say? This one says it must go to the living room. We know where that is right here. Bink. Mm, let's move it out of the way a little more. Be a little organized. Steve, come on. This one says it must go to the bathroom. We remember where the bathroom is. It's over here. Bink. I don't know what's going to be scary about this game. Is Peter going to come home early and see me moving all his boxes even though he asked for it to happen? He's just going to get angry at us? I don't know. Gotta keep moving boxes. This one doesn't. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. No, no. There is a journal inside and some glasses. Can I put the glasses on? No. This new part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sister was getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Oh, I got a little into that one. All right. Escape the box. Definitely the bedroom. Definitely the bedroom. I think I'll just leave this here. And says must go to the kitchen. I'm gonna get jump scared so bad. 
There's a couple of boxes left. This one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it. Mm, I don't know. The last time I opened a box without just placing it down, I'll just leave this here. Bad things happened, but we're going to do it anyway. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me after all I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loud, and I was really, it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed a small animal before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. I couldn't let her leave. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Maybe I should open it. I don't know. The flashing lights are are making me making me second guess my decisions. Is, is ample blood on the knife? The betrayal of a friend, part one. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casual. I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious, but I knew I couldn't take any chances. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. All right, I'm out. See ya. What boxes are in the wrong... It's not in the living room. Should I leave with the box? What happens if I try to leave with the box, guys? Can we check these babies? Babies? All that work made me thirsty. I should go get something to drink before I leave. All right. Time to go. All the hairs in my body are standing up. Something bad's going to happen. Is this real? Flip, it smells terrible. Gotta read, though. The Vanishing Act, part one. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that wasn't that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim. That I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few things, a few items of clothing behind, along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. Run! Oh boy, drop it. Run. Um... Um, is this what happens when your drink gets spiked? You walk through an infinite hallway that can't stop? Where's that phone? Is it? What the flip? Oh! Help me! Help me!
Help! Um, am I an idiot or is there no phone? Table? Step table? What are you doing up there? Stupid joke. I'm not scared of a little dark. What did I say? What did I say? Running and running and running and running. Down the hall. Down the hallway with my spiked drink self. Listening to the phone ring. Ah, finally. City Morgue. Hello. What do you want from me? Your job was just to move damn boxes, not to open them. Peter! Whoa! You got me. Peter's house. It's great music. Please support this project by rating five stars. I'm going to quit. All right. That was Peter's house, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Road to 200k. We are creeping up on it. Um, let me know what horror games you want me to play in the comments. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing night. Tell your mother I said hello. And peace out. See you guys later. Bye.